Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, in my second attempt to stay trendy with Valentine's themed ideas for the sake of the algorithm, I've decided to paint a whole fence of love locks. Do I personally think it's romantic? Not really. I don't think the act of placing locks as a random bridge and littering the river by tossing the key in it can guarantee eternal love. But it looks pretty cute, so I've decided to paint it anyway. Okay, so here's a little fun fact for today. Did you know that this whole love locks trend originated about 100 plus years ago? The tale behind it, however, is a little more on the melancholic side instead of romantic. It began in the town of Vrinjaka Banja. Just a little disclosure that I may not have pronounced it right. Anyway, in this little town, a school head mistress named Nada fell in love with a Serbian officer named Ralja and they used to meet on a bridge. After they committed to each other, or slept together, Ralja went to war in Greece while Nada faithfully waits for him to return safely. Ralja did not return, but he didn't die either. In fact, he was very alive and healthy, so much so that he fell in love with a Greek woman and started a new family there, hence breaking off the engagement with Nada. Upon hearing the news, Nada falls into depression from the devastation of abandonment and meets her demise due to a broken heart. As young women from Vrinjaka Banja wanted to protect their own loves, they started writing down their names with the names of their loved ones on padlocks and affixing them to the railings of the bridge where Nada and Ralja used to meet. I'm still trying to comprehend the logic behind this. If their love was doomed and Ralja is a serial cheater, why would they want to place locks on that very same bridge? If anything, it would probably be more of a curse than a miraculous cure for domesticating men. Anyway, it's more of a tourist attraction now and a painting idea for me today. I actually enjoyed painting this. It was quite fun starting with the blurry background and slowly work on the fence, then adding all the locks with super cheesy writings on it. I hope you like this piece, hence without further ado, let's begin.
There's something in the wind I can feel it 